Hello guys, I am back today welcoming you all with this. Right in front of us we have the all new 2023 model Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe and in today's video it's time to give you a full tour of this showing you all the exterior highlights. Afterwards we will be checking out the interior and then finish it all off with a resume. As we have the GLC Coupe here, the 2023 model, we will be mainly showing you the rear. So we'll be talking about the front in a minute and here we have it guys, this is it, the all new GLC Coupe how do you guys like it so first of all I can't really communicate any pricings or engine specs yet I, I will be doing that in the future with you obviously as I already presented you the SUV last year now it's time to show you the Coupe as I'm a huge Coupe fan but I also read it a lot of times in the comment section that you guys wanted to see the Coupe and here we have it with the Coupe we have a bit more space in the rear I mean size wise it's almost comparable to what we know from the SUV Just the shape and the design is a bit different especially when talking here about the rear because with the rear the coupe we have a nice looking design how do you guys like the tail lights here of the glc coupe looking very very slim very modern and extremely sporty as you can see here by this line over here this is not illuminated we have no lighting or else over here then we can continue right over here with the nice lightning glc coupe redefined then here the rear i really love the movement here aero improved obviously and as we have the amg line option here we also have these exhaust tips unfortunately these aren't real we just have the covers here but they are finished in chrome all in all how do you guys like it let me just talk about the side here as i mentioned we have the coupe version here we have no night package as you can see here by the frame if we had the night package this would be all finished in black gloss also the optional side step i preferred without but it's just a matter of taste if you need it or not then with the amg line very important to mention we have the side fenders finished in exterior paint and here with this beautiful graphite gray and as we have a hybrid version here this is where you charge it we have the ac charging here but the dc charging is also optional charge up to 60 kilowatts in the rear we also have the rear axle steering going up to four and a half degrees and then we have these 20 inch AMG line multi-spoke wheels full finished in black gloss which I'm a huge fan of as we have the keyless go package these door handles are finished in chrome even if you had the night package this is still in chrome the side mirror has been moved also the same with the GLC SUV back in the days it used to be located over here and now they have moved it down on the door side it's just to have less wind noises and it's also aero improved then also here on the front we have again 20 inches amg line multi-spoke wheels one of my favorite wheel options for the glc coupe full black gloss finished lovely and now let's talk about the front and this is almost the same as we have already seen with the glc suv first of all the headlight unit is exactly the same with the design here single line double leds here we have the digital light headlight unit this is an option you can go with the high performance leds which come from factory then talking about the grill i'm a huge fan of this mercedes-benz star pattern here and uh, something that is different to the suv version is normally you get that only with the amg line but with the coupe you also get these star patterns also for the non-amg line progressive line if you had the car with the night package these bars would be also finished in black gloss then we have the 3d mercedes-benz star emblem and as we have an amg line here we have this nice looking sporty front bumper also in addition with the graphite gray exterior paint this looks so nice how do you guys like it since we have no night package we have the front lip here finished in chrome but in my eyes it looks extremely elegant and still very very sporty so how do you guys like this all new 2023 model mercedes-benz glc coupe now we will be focusing on the inside and here we have it so we are now in the inside of the all new glc coupe and as soon as you have a closer look i mean you can already see that this is literally the same as we have with the glc suv and also comparable to what we've already seen with the new c-class also here on the door panel we have a nice interior spec here with the saddle brown and also here with the ambient colors coming from factory which is really cool we have the heated seat we have the mercedes-benz entrance board which is also illuminated 
there we go you always have it when you open up the door the amg line floor mats which you always have and then the carbon look interior trim as well with the display with the display you have two options i think you can either go for the 12.7 inch bigger display unit or for the smaller one there's always a display in the inside ambient colors also here in the air vents which i'm a huge fan of and then over here you can just open it up you have two cup holders you just push this inside and then it surrounds your your cup or whatever usb-c charger port wireless phone charging as usual and as soon as you also open that up you can instantly see that this display unit is tilted towards the driver you can see that by the gap here it's not straight a six degrees turn towards the driver to make it more driver focused continuing here in the interior we have the new amg line steering wheel flat bottom here also coming with the glc coupe then the driver's display in front of us you can either use this one as it's fully touch or you can uh, control it with the display buttons here you can see it there we go also this display is not touch you control it with this button here and then you can choose your design whatever I like this a lot. The seats are exactly the same as we know from the C-Class. Full saddle brown leather finish, lovely. And then there's one thing that a lot of GLC Coupe customers back in the days criticized because back in the days the GLC Coupe didn't have a panoramic roof and now we have it finally giving us a lot of light in the inside. Really appreciate it. The rear seats, you can also put them down to extend the trunk space. You have the saddle brown leather finish and then also optional uh, heated seats in the back seats and all in all how do you guys like it it's already comparable to what we know with the c-class with the glc suv and all in all i can't wait to drive it and i can't wait to show you the amg models of this one so let's jump outside and finish it off with a resume so that's it basically for today's video guys how do you like the all new mercedes-benz 2023 model glc coupe would you rather go for the glc suv which i showed you or would you go for the coupe version let me just finish it off by showing you the rear one last time here we have it in my eyes they did an amazing job with the design the rear in specific i really really like it and i can't wait to see the amg versions of this maybe wider body with the quad exhaust i think this will look super super nice already looking forward to see you all again and wish you an amazing day i will be back